Sanja Ninja. Sanja sat on Pink FM and insulted Queen Mother of Atebebu and not Afia Tehina. This issue became an issue against Atebebu Traditional Council and everything in the Atebebu. So he called the NDC party with a letter or petition that what their candidate did to Atebebu is unfair. So if they want NDC to enjoy their party in Atebebu, they should come and apologize to Anano. They did mistake. They didn't respond to our letter and we also sat on it and did press conference to inform the whole nation that if NDC is not obey our rules and regulations contrary to our customs, then we are seizing them not to go to our lands to do their campaign. And the reason is, we wrote a letter or petition to former President Mahama, General Secretary Esudin Katia, NDC Chairman Bono East, NDC Chairman Atebebu Constituency, and Sen Janenja himself warned them if they want Sen Janenja to be their candidate for 2020, they should come with him and apologize to Nanano. They did not obey or they did not respond to our message or our petition. Now, they are coming back with Sen Janenja who doesn't respect Atebebu customs. And this is the reason why yesterday we did that press conference to warn NDC as a party. Initially, we stated that we don't have problem with NDC party, but for them to come with the Saint Janenja to pray on his behalf, they refused. And what annoying Atebebu traditional council that the day they came there with the Bono East chairman, we gave them two weeks to come for the necessary requirements which they are supposed to do so that we just forgive the Saint Janenja. Later, they came with pen drive and letter that they saw something on social media, which is Facebook, and that annoyed them so they should not come back to Atebebu. That was the content of their letter. And we are telling them the land belongs to Atebebu. It's not for Ghana as a whole. It belongs to Atebebu. And Atebebu, we have our culture. So we are basing on our culture, our uh, customs, and our customary laws to ban NDC as a party that we don't need them everywhere in Atebebu. So if they want to challenge Atebebu traditional customs, we are also ready to face them. The answer is this incident, I think everybody listening to me will bear with me, with me that it's not a typical that this incident happened. It happens at the uh, Achim, they went there with their numbers. It happened at the Kwau, they went there with their numbers. And I can give more examples. So why a typical? Is there a difference between a typical customs and then the uh, other places I mentioned customs? So if the customs and traditions are the same, why not? So if they come and they think that what they have done is wrong against Nananom, then we, we can consider them.